What's up boys and girls, it's Gareth here with another YouTube Black Ops commentary and I know I haven't given you a commentary for about a week now and don't get too upset about that but I should be bringing you hopefully two this week to make up for that and you know I hope you enjoyed this commentary today, it's not bad, it's not brilliant but there you go and I think I'm going to start talking to you about today Libya and it's sort of the mini war that's going on between Libya and then sort of the rest of the world sort of thing. It's not like everybody in the world, but you know, it's just a one man, like a one country going against a load of others. And it's not looking too good at the moment, but you know. And what's happening is, Colonel Gaddafi, for those of you that don't know, is the sort of Prime Minister or President of Libya. And what he's doing, he's been, over the past few weeks, been killing innocent civilians in his own country. Yeah, and I know what you're thinking, he's a crazy fool, which he is. I'll go into a bit more depth on that in a minute. But um, he's been killing innocent civilians and killing rebels. And now finally, somebody stepped in and said to him, Right, you've got to stop this. And even like they're saying to him, step down as Prime Minister. And what's happened is David Cameron, which is the Prime Minister of England, President of America, Barack Obama, and then the President of France, Sarkozy, have all said to Gaddafi, stop killing civilians and step down as Prime, Min as Prime Minister or President of Libya, otherwise there's going to be basically, he didn't say it's going to be war, but it's been implied and, you know, I just want to talk to you a little bit about that. And I think, it's been quite a week ago, but I've been struggling to get up this video when I recorded it. Um, due to a lot of college work and stuff, so I know you probably think, oh yeah, you talk, it's uh, old news and that, but it really isn't, the thing go it's still going on now. And I think it was Saturday, um, one of Brit Britain sent out one of their fighter jets from, I think it's a tornado they sent out, and it was flying around the Mediterranean Sea, just to keep a view on what was going on, and if anything erupted, just to like, sort of, tackle it or anything like that sort of thing, I don't know, like, Make sure, sort of reporting back to the English Prime Minister and you know I don't know what Gaddafi's doing but I just want to get your thoughts on this do you think he should just give up the fight now as he's got like, outnumbered like 8 to 1 countries 8 on tiers 1 country or do you think um, we should go to war about this personally I believe well I, I'm a pacifist really I don't really like fighting but I believe if we have to go out then we should but you know, that's probably not being a pacifist, but if you know what I mean, like, if somebody does one thing to you, then it's right to go and get revenge on them, but don't just go and do it out of random, it's not fair. And I want to talk to you a bit about, like, the forces that Britain's got with, like, their allies and what Libya's got. And basically, Great Britain's got a lot of, like, play, uh, fighter jets, and they've got, like, a lot, they've got a nuclear submarine and two Navy ships. And along with their allies, they've got France, Europe, uh, America, Italy, Poland, Norway, Denmark, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, and the United Arab Emirates. So, I don't know how many countries that is. I think that's maybe 11. 11 onto Libya's one. And Libya's got, um, I think, 76,000 uh, troops altogether, including the Army, Navy, and the Air Force. And then all they've got is attack helicopters and 20 fighter jets, which is nothing compared to Britain's and France's and America's and Poland's and so on. Massive uh, massive force. And Gaddafi does have the nickname Mad Dog Gaddafi. And to be honest, I'm not, as um, I heard on, I think it was Monday, Tuesday sort of thing, that um, now he's starting to put women and children in front of his soldiers and in front of sort of like other buildings of his like parliament and stuff as moving targets to try and stop the rebelers um, firing because they're sort of shooting against Gaddafi and like saying do you know what we're going to fight back against you so now he's got the his own people his own people women and children being used as targets and do you know what I think that's just disgraceful and personally I would like him to step down if I, I was his country and I think these sort of riots that are coming now have sort of erupted from the past riots. I don't know if you've heard, but 
obviously Egypt, the people in Egypt threw their Prime Minister off and now I don't know what's going on in their country right now, I haven't followed this story from then on. All I know is that now they, uh, their riot was successful and their Prime Minister left and I think there's been a few other littler countries doing the riots and stuff, however they haven't been as successful as Egypt was. Maybe that's because they haven't got such a big population and it's harder for them to get their point across. And I think Gaddafi started to shoot people himself now, get his soldiers to kill people rebelling. And do you know what? It's just it's out of the ordinary really, isn't it? You wouldn't get your own Prime Minister um shooting you really, would you? It's just a massive shock. But um Anyway, I just want to get your thoughts on it. Should we go to war or not? I don't know. It's, it's quite a weird topic to talk about because you don't really think of it in everyday life. Everybody just thinks, oh yeah, it's, uh, we've got a good life, um, we can play PS3, make YouTube videos, go out of our mates and all that sort of stuff. And then you think about the people in the other countries that are getting shot by their own government and stuff. And it's just not fair at all, is it? But, you know, uh, just start, sort of keep them in your prayers and stuff, the people that are being um, killed and injured and stuff and hopefully pray for Gaddafi to step down sometime soon. Anyway, moving on to the gameplay now, as you can see I'm playing Stadium and this is from the First Strike DLC map pack which is the new maps that have come out on Xbox 360 and PS3. I'm not so sure if they come out on PC or Wii yet. They might have, I think they'll come out on Wii but maybe not PC yet. And PSN only got these maps a couple of weeks ago, and this game was recorded a couple of weeks ago, uh, ago as well. But as I said, I've been doing loads of college work, so I haven't been able to post a video yet. And hopefully, I'll get to post up two, like this weekend or like one after the weekend, like straight after. But anyway, let me talk about the map. The stadium, I don't really like it too much at all. I think it's, I dislike it, but I like it. It's like a Marmite map, just like the Galil that I'm using. Now the thing is, the map is very, very campish, if you know what I mean. Not campish as in gay, and sorry if I caused offence to any people that are gay watching these videos, don't mean to be offensive. But um, when the first strike ad advertisement first came out, everybody was like, oh yes, brilliant, the stadium's going to be the me best map, and it's gone way down the pecking order on people's views. and. People are really disliking this map, and I agree with them because, of course, it's close quarters. You turn around the corner, you're most likely to see somebody all the time. However, when you see them, they're waiting for you. They're camping, they're sitting in the corner, and loads of my friends at school call me a camper, so they're probably going to laugh at this video and call me a hypocrite. But do you know what? I'm not a camper, and the people in these vi uh, in this I don't know if there's a couple of camps in this video, but. Um, I'm not trying to name them shame them, you might be able to check out their names yourself when you see me killing them if I do. But, there's claymores here, there's claymores there, you turn around a building, you're dead. You need to hack a pro for this map, or maybe just hacker, and just hacker, hacker, hacker pro. And, there's a lot of second chances, I don't know if they put second chances just for this map. Maybe it's just a uh, map thing. But, um, just, I'll say my favourite map out of the whole map pack is Discovery, and it's a brilliant map, it's like a really good flanking sort of map, but I think it was made for snipers. However, you can flank really well, there's like a lot of underpassages, like bridges, climbing up ladders on the bridges into buildings and running around their, into their spawn, flanking and taking them out. And I'll talk a bit more to you about that when I do a commentary on that map. But definitely better than modern, the Modern Warfare 2 maps, so I was a little disappointed when them ones came out. However, these maps are quality, to be honest. They haven't let me down in any way. And, as I said, the Galil is my Marmite gun. Uh, and for those of you that don't know, because I think it's only in England, we have a spread that you spread on toast. And it's called the Love It or Hate It spread, which some people love it, some people hate it. It's got a bit of a tangy taste on it. And that's the Galil and the Map Stadium for you. Uh, the Galil, sometimes I do really well with it. As you can see, this game will do quite good. And then some games I just flop, I just can't play with it at all. I'm really enjoying the Famous at the moment, but, you know, the Galil, I really love that gun, but sometimes I just really can't use it, and I think it's unfair to myself, because I try my best to use it, but then it's not worth it sometimes, like, just being a load of hit markers on the guns and on the people, and not getting the kills that you need and stuff. 
But anyway, I think I'm just going to wrap it up there as that's the basically the end of the gameplay coming to a close now. I hope you enjoyed my gameplay today and remember to comment on the comment section, rate my video and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.